so far we've built our API using code. Let's, uh, let's make it easier for our developers to use our API functionality from the editor. The first step is to create a proxy. A proxy is a singleton class that contains methods, like you see in here, for every single API operation that we have. So if you take a look to the left, this is the LinkedIn plugin, and it has about a dozen HTTP operations that we can take right now and call from code. But what we've done is created a one-stop shop for all of our operations. So let's say we want to send an invitation to a LinkedIn user. Instead of going through the motions of creating an operation and registering the callbacks, what we can do is, you can see that we have a single operation it's called send invitation, and the send invitation operation supports inviting people by their email or by their LinkedIn ID. So we've created two methods, one that's going to send an invitation by email, the other one by ID, and right now we could call this from code, passing in the invitees, the subject, body, and the callbacks so that our caller is going to be notified whether this operation was successful or it failed. So this is the first step to moving the functionality into the editor.